50 Questions with Madonna Louise Veronica Ciccone, narrated by a sassy AI. Any recent book recommendations? Have you read my sex book? Oh girl, I've done many things with it. What did you think of the Elvis film? I love the Elvis film. How did you pick the remixes for Finally Enough Love 50 number ones? I chose my best dance records and added up to 50. Why did you decide that now was the time to look back and do a legacy release like Finally Enough Love? Because the world needs to dance. We've been through enough, haven't we? We certainly have. What remixed song is your favorite? My favorite is a toss-up between Ray of Light and Die Another Day. Enjoy the different musical directions you've taken over the years. You've tackled a few different styles, but what music genre would you consider revisiting? House. Are you going on tour next year with your 50 greatest club hits? A greatest hits kind of concert. Do you want me to go on tour? Uh, hello. What is something you've learned or wisdom that you can share with the rest of us? The biggest lesson I have learned in this life is none of this is real, real, real. Greatest guilty pleasure? Sex. Have you personally approved all of the remixes you have released across your career? Have you met me? I gotta go, baby. Get in. Get in! I'm coming! We're going to the farm. The shots are in my coochie. Can we ever expect another collaboration with Britney? Gagging to her. Yeah. What's your zodiac sign? Sex. Current favorite obsession? Sex. What's a decision you made that, looking back, maybe wasn't the best idea? Getting married. Both times. What type of music do you listen to? I listen to good music. Do you have any pets? I do. I have several pets. I just can't remember their names. What would be something people would be surprised to learn about you? That I hate being asked questions. If you can only wear one thing for the rest of your life, what would that be? My 24 karat gold vibrator necklace. Okay, stop right there. Remind you of anything? Say some horses. Your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is lazy people. Same girl. What's your favorite thing to make? Wait for it. Love. <laughs> Name a strong person you admire. Ooh, I admire Prita Kala. Who was your biggest inspiration when starting your career? Musically? Yes, bitch. My biggest inspiration musically would have been Debbie Harry and David Bowie. Who would you consider to be your biggest mentors? Roberto, Roberto. My biggest inspiration growing up was Karina Kahlo, Martha Graham, and Anne Sexton. Anybody want some carrots? Camera guy? What makes you feel powerful? Eight hours of sleep. What's your motto for life? My motto for life is don't fuck with the queen. What would you name your alter ego? We are an angel. Dita. My name is Dita. I'll be your mistress tonight. If you hadn't gone into music, what do you think you would be doing now? I'd be a school teacher. Oh. What would you say if you met yourself from the future right now? I don't take any of this seriously. Do you find it difficult to find inspiration in a world that is so different from when you first started? There's no end to the inspiration. If you're a curious person and you're paying attention to life, you will never stop being inspired. Name one person you haven't collaborated with yet, but would love to in the future. I would love to collaborate with Kendrick Lamar. See this rope? Keep asking me stupid questions and I might hang myself from it. What has been the most challenging part about working on your film? The biggest challenge is cramming my entire life into a feature-length film. Yeah, good luck with that. Can there really ever be enough love? Never really be enough love. What was the most grueling music video shoot for one of the 50 number ones? The hardest video to shoot, die another day. I had to learn how to fence, and I had to fight myself, so I had to learn two sides of the choreography. What is the most outrageous rumor you've ever heard about yourself? I don't know what you're talking about. There's no rumors about me. What is your favorite Madam X song? My favorite Madam X song is Killers Who Are Party. What are you excited the most about your upcoming album? Is the idea that I'm going to make people dance. What is the favorite music video you have ever made? Hmm. Take a bow is my favorite music video. Your favorite perfume? Portrait of a Lady. 
What do you miss the most about your early New York days? I miss riding the subway. Stand clear of the closing doors, bitch. We can make the chickens come out. No, they're sleeping. Sorry, were you talking to me? You just wiped my nose on the chicken coop. Ooh. Favorite song to perform live? I would say, like, Paris, my favorite song to perform live. What keeps you going? Sex. The most stressful album you've made? The most stressful album I ever made was Rebel Heart. Too many guest appearances. What's the secret to your success? Sex. Give us spiritual inspiration for the month. If you run away from your karma and you don't take the time to correct it, it will find you again. Regarding blonde ambition, ponytail or curls? Ponytail. What is your life mantra? Sex. Favorite snack? I can't remember his name. Oh no, big dick. I don't ask him. What is the achievement you're the most proud of? My six amazing children. If you could make a one-hour phone call to someone dead or alive, who would that be? Oh my god, I would call James Baldwin. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Wash my hands. Outtakes. Did someone ask me a question? Sorry, I asked me a question. Whoa! <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <laughs> It's Britney, bitch. My zodiac sign. My astrological sign is 